Hello lovelies, welcome back to another episode. I know we haven't seen each other in so long. Um, the last time that we did a grocery flower episode was when we taught you how to DIY a garden flowy, kind of like free flowing arrangement using grocery flowers. And that was again super fun. And I know that there were some messages that we received that not everyone can possibly do the same things. And I understand that sometimes, you know, you go to the grocery store, you don't really see the flowers that you want to work with. And it gets tricky because then it's hard to replicate what you see online and then you take it home. Just like, now, well, how am I going to do this now? And so today I'm literally arranging grocery flowers. So I picked up some bouquets. I got this bouquet here, this one, there you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. And I also got these carnations only because they're a cute color and they're pink and they're also in the clearance aisle. Why not? Usually when you go to a grocery store, you really don't have control over the bouquets that they made. It's not like, you know, hey, I want some roses here and some daisies here or some eucalyptus here. It usually is a bundle like this. And so today, because we really don't have much of a choice of what we're getting at the grocery store, I am sharing tips on how to elevate the look of an arrangement like this. And we're gonna start with your vessel, your container, your vase, however you wanna call it where you are. Let's call it container, let's call it vase today. Um, you start, usually what happens is that this is what we do. We grab like a vase like this, a base like this, which is your usual bouquet base that you can get in any craft store or even at the grocery store. You can get this and then what we do is we fill it with water. There you go. And then we open up this bouquet. So usually this bouquet just comes out like this. I don't know if you guys can see it. Uh, so there's daisies, mostly daisies, some status right here, and a stem of dying <laughs> eucalyptus. It's not even that fresh, but these are grocery flowers. You can't really expect them to be the freshest all the time. They might have been sitting there for more than a few days anyways. So that's where we're going to elevate a little bit. But anyways, this is what it looks like. And what we usually do on a regular basis is that, you know, we take this, we open it, we put it in here. We cut a little bit of the stem. Usually you would use pruners for, for, for stocky and, and hard um, stems. But I am doing this as if you're doing it at home. So I'm not using pruners, I'm using scissors that you have handy at home. So if it's hard to break, you can kind of break it off with your hand first to soften the stem. And then that mark, that's where you cut it off with your softener. And usually what we do is we take out that elastic and then we put it in here. This is usually our whole arrangement, which by the way is not super bad. I mean, I'm not bad or anything like that. I'm not judging also, but there are obviously many ways where we can elevate the look of this. Ooh, it also has some salon. Ooh, and also daisies like this, Gerber daisies, they come with this little, I would call it a straw but it's basically to hold the stem because the stem is really fragile. So if you want to keep it there, it's going to keep it upright so it doesn't kind of like bow down and bend down. It's going to keep it upright like that beautifully. So you can just leave it there. That's how it looks like. And usually what we do is just insert them again. Get to give them a fresh cut right there. So I have heard this about carnations. I don't know if you guys know what we used to do um, a lot of wedding and event design, that you have to cut carnations where there is no like wedge right there. Like it has to be either before, like on top or below that. Like you can't cut through it. But you know, I won't look at every stem and be just like, oh, I don't have to cut here, I have to cut here. Obviously, sometimes you just cut it the way you cut it and you put it in, you probably have to section it a little bit. So 
this is usually what happens, what we do. Um, my mom, for sure, mom, I love you. But my mom does this all the time. She would bring home like a bouquet from the grocery store, just cut them and put them here, and then place them on the table. But if you want to elevate the look of it, there's many ways to do it. Now, another tip is that you can start with this because what happens is that you're always gonna have to change the water every other day anyway, so you're gonna have to cut the stem a little bit. So if you wanna start, you know, you came home and you really don't have time to arrange anything and you're like, I really don't have energy for this right now, you can do this just, just for that day. Um, and then the next day, when it's time to switch the water, it's to switch the container. You can also switch the vessel because it's time to cut the stems. So what we can do is, if you are switching bases or containers, which I think you should, if you want to give it a little bit of a different look, or you want to elevate it, or you want to have just a different look to it, you know, like it's the same flowers every day, but you can definitely elevate that and make things better. You can do something like this. So I got this planter, which is super cute. It's like, you guys see it? It's like marble, not really marble, but eh-ish. And it is $3 from the dollar store. So there's so many little things that you can use. Um, and I also have this two clear plastic vases, which vases, where you are, vases, vases, container, vessel. What else? Well, that's all I know, and that's how we call it. But it's vases, vases, however you want to call it. But this container, you can use as well. These are the classic ones that we probably all have at home, or we can also pull again from the dollar store, no problem. Or you can also use this little tin container, which is also cute again, depending on how you're using this and how you want to place it on the table, you can use different things. So just before we go, before you use this, you're gonna check this, if the water leaks. So I haven't checked that because I just got this specifically for this video because I wanted to see. So see this one leaks. See that little drop, 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 drip, drip, drip. Mm -hmm. You know, you know. Anyway, so this is not good. I thought I had another one somewhere. I thought I had another one somewhere that I don't know. So anyways, there are versions of this that are waterproof that doesn't leak. Um, that's what you need to find. It's gonna be hard because when you're in the store, you really can't you know, test it and run it through water and see if it, it leaks or not. And I think that's fine too. I mean, you can always reuse this for something else. You can use it for utensils, you can use it for pens, whatever you're using it for, but you can do that. So I guess we're gonna focus on this three. By the way, this is such a spontaneous video. Like I literally, I, I'm doing this as if you're doing it. So it's not like I planned it. I walked to the grocery store, I grabbed this bouquet, I went to the dollar store, I grabbed these things, not knowing if it's gonna work because I think that's how we do it. If we just, you know, we don't know if things are gonna work for the first time until we do it. And that's how I'm doing it. I really don't plan much anymore. It's your first time doing it. And you know, you walk in, you see what you like, you maybe assume it works, it probably doesn't, it probably will. No problem. We're gonna do it together, we're gonna figure it out. Okay, so let's start with this one. I'm gonna put some water. This is a planter, so I'm definitely not gonna lay pretty solid ceramic too. I don't know if you can see, but it is actually quite the solid ceramic. I don't know if you can see, but it is it's quite solid. It's actually not bad for how much is it again? For three dollars. Not mad at it. Okay. So if you're switching containers, you always use the tallest one first so you can keep the stem. So then that way the water goes into the stem and the flower can drain as much as it wants to. And then it's gonna get to a point that it's gonna be fully bloomed. How again, I don't know how long it's been sitting grocery store but there will come a point where it's so bloomed that in the next few days it's just gonna wilt that's just how flowers work so with this one it looks like it looks like it has been fully bloomed for like I don't know, three or four days now but I mean we're gonna have to work it out it doesn't matter we're gonna have to work it out it doesn't matter so what I would suggest is that start with this and you start with your greeneries. 
So this one is already nice. I don't know if you guys can see, but it doesn't have any leaves that's gonna be soaked in water. And that's so important because if there's leaves in the water, it actually makes bacteria grow faster. I mean, I don't wanna be scientific because the molecules and the bond. And the... Listen, listen. If there's leaves in the water, it's just gonna get yellower faster. Okay, I'm gonna go a little science on you, but that's what it is. So, this is Talal. Um, if you guys can see, it's super green. Can you guys see it? I'm not a big fan of this, but this green lasts quite a while. And the good thing about it is that if, if it has flowers like daisies where it has like softer stem, because this is quite stocky and strong, the stem of this kind of holds the flower so you can sit on it. So it can look longer because it's not wilting, bowing down. It's just sitting on it, so it looks like it's still upright. So stick it in there. So I'm just going through the greeners. I think I saw another one here. Cute! You want to measure it out too, that you don't want to cut it too short. That when you just put it in, it's going to I'm gonna arrange it here so you guys can see. I thought I'm like breaking things. Okay, so I just did it that way. There's no rhyme or reason. And again, I'm doing this as if you're doing it. There's no rhyme or reason. Usually, like you will plan the look of it before you shop, obviously. But that's not always the case. You, you just see what you see. You, you bring it home, you put it in a bag, you pay for it, and you put it in a vase. You want flowers, so this is not, you know, like this is not an exhibition and you have to be the best at it. But if you want to elevate it a little bit, I'm here for you. Lovelies, I'm here for you. So we did that salal. So well. I saw a eucalyptus that's super crispy. Oh my goodness, look how crispy this eucalyptus is. You guys can see, super, super, super crispy. So when I say crispy, it means it's like almost that. I'm gonna go closer and show you. Like it's super crispy. Like, can you hear it? It's just it's some art. <laughs> Whatever they do. Let me see. Did you guys hear it? Anyways, it's super crunchy, so that means it's almost dying. But anyways, this is still not bad, so I'm just gonna strip the lower part of it because the lower part is super dead. Like, there bye bye. This actually smells good. I've heard that some people actually hang this like in the shower so that when it steams, like the dry ones. So when it steams, I mean, if you want to use it there instead of in your flower arrangement, you can definitely do that too. So apparently the steam like brings out the smell of the eucalyptus. I don't even know if this mic is going off, but hello, hello. Hello to table four, please. We're missing some potato wedges. I'm hungry. So I just stripped those. I mean, it's nice sometimes, again, it really depends on how you look at it. And if you're not really into flower arranging, I mean, like, I don't really give a flying F. If that looks like this or that looks like that, I just want flower, that's also okay. But if you're really doing it, I mean, why not make it a little better? And you're already paying for it. You know, if you can, it, what is that called? I know it's called words, but cost, Per wear. Like if you buy like a luxury item, it's cost per wear and then over time you've really used it for so long, years, decades if not, then the cost per wear, like you, it, it was a good investment. But if, if you buy a flower, like this, this bouquet from the grocery store, I realize it's pretty expensive. This, the, the first bouquet that I showed you, I have another one here. Okay. This one? That one? It's like 25 bucks. Whatever happened to like 10, $11 like market bunches. But again, it depends on which grocery store you go to. Um, it smells like eucalyptus, but it's also super sticky. So you might want to love it up if you're gonna use this. I mean, it smells good, but it's just so sticky. I'm pretty sure, I don't know if you guys are complaining or like I'm not a big complainer, but I'm also gonna let it know. If I'm not happy about something. I mean, this is good, but now I'm gonna wash my hands. Okay, I'm gonna refer this other one. 
bouquet back in the bucket. Also, the lady that I got this bouquet from, she was, she was super nice. She gave us like three buckets. Well, buckets, just one. Not a lot. She gave us three buckets. I think that was super cute. I would have not have thought to put it in a bucket anyways. It's just grocery flour, I think. Okay. That eucalyptus smell is sticking. It's good, it's just weird. It's not bad, it doesn't smell bad, it's just... I actually don't know what it smells like, but... Okay, I have essential oils, like the eucalyptus, the lavender, and all those things. And like, I love them, but I don't want them on my hand. I don't want them super close to my nostrils. Like, go oh away. It's okay. Going back. I have a lot of stories, so what's up? Okay, so this is, I believe this is status. It's cute. So it just adds like a little bit of volume. And there's two baby steps, so I like to use those. That way, I just cut them. So basically, if you're moving them in a shorter base like this, you want to cut the steps a little bit shorter than you would if you would put them in a big base like this, like the bouquet base. That's how you guys see it. So instead of putting it in this tall base, again, you can put it in the first day. But afterwards, you, you, you might want to change it and change the look of it. Just get the most out of the flowers you spend. Carnations, if you haven't watched our videos on how to open carnations, somewhere here, I'm gonna link it. And then this, see, that's too tall for me. Listen, there's no rhyme or reason. Nobody's gonna come at you and be just like, ah, it's too short of a stem. No, like it's, it's your house. You can do what you wanna do. And this is super cute. I'm just cutting it out here you can see it. So I'm just cutting it away. Again, all these greens that are sticking out, you might wanna get rid of them because those greens. Oh, so cute. Okay, too cool. Here's another good thing if you transfer them in a smaller base is that you realize that you can make multiple of it. So from this one, for just like one arrangement, if you put them in such smaller bases for something that's almost lower than the eye as opposed to this tall, you can put them in many places. And I think that's super cute. So I, here, I, I'm just saying you're me or I'm you. I mean, who wants to be me? But I'm just cutting it randomly, cutting the stem, just pulling these little things. Bam, bam, no right, no reason. Bam. Okay, this one does not bam because it's pretty tall, so we gotta have a little bit of right reason for this one. There you go. Honestly, I love this so much already. Only because. Oh, so cute. I'm gonna rotate it. When you're putting it, you kind of rotate it so that you can see. See, this one's crispy too. So many crispy leaves. I call it crispy leaves, meaning it's like at the end of it, like the life, like end of life. And okay, so what carnations do when you fluff it like that and it just like opens up and you can see it kind of droop, it's almost end of life. Oh, this really looks so cute. You can decide for yourself. Which by the way, again, like what I said earlier, you can do both. Like it's not like it's a one time, big time where you cannot change anything. I'm just gonna put more water. I just put it the way I put it. I usually dip my finger in just to see like, if it's high enough. That's how you can tell. That's how I can tell at least. I'm just gonna wipe this hair 
before it drips a long, long time ago. And I mean, even until now, they would usually say to like put tape on it, like wrap tape around it so that the stems will stand. I'm okay with that. I mean, if that's what you want to do, that's just a lot of work for me. I'm like, I'm not gonna tape the boss, the base, the boss, the base, the vessel, the container. The boss, the base, the vessel, the container. The boss, the base, the vessel, the container. However you want to call it. Okay, so we're almost done. Just rotate this a little bit. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see it, but just by doing that, just by cutting some, some of the, the stems shorter and putting it in a different container, it already looks so good. I don't know if you guys can see it. This is what it looks like here. This, what's that? Don't come at me and be just like, yo, it doesn't even look good. Like it's not even perfect. Like we ain't aiming for perfection here. This is literally, you walk into a grocery store, you see a bouquet, you wanna bring it home, but you also wanna make it extra pretty. This is what you do. And I'm gonna give you a comparison so that you can decide for yourself however which way you wanna put it in a vase. All right? All right? All right. So this is the same exact bouquet here. And I do still have some extra carnations, like the extra bunch that I got earlier. And I'm gonna make it even actually, just so you see a little spot in there. Um, there you go. Look, I mean, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is the exact same bouquet. Let's just pretend I cut it. And this is what we do most of the time. Oh! The gladiolus is actually open in this one, although I don't like it. But if you see, like the edges are browning already. I don't know if you can see, but I don't even know if I can see that. Uh, there you go. You can see it there. The tips are browning, so I really don't like it. It's up to you, you want to keep it, you don't want to keep it, there are no rules. You decide you, you do you, okay? But, comparison. This is your modified, super easy, just cutting the stems short, just placing them so that you can see the blooms. Or, you can do this arrangement where, oh actually, to be fair, this has carnation, so I want to be fair, you know. Let's put some of like this here. Be fair and square. There you go. Okay. So this is usually what we see and what we do. But if you cut the stem shorter, you don't have to be an artist, okay? You don't have to have some creative eye, some vibe. You just cut the stem shorter. You put them in a better looking base. Okay, so here's the thing too. I feel like we always put this arrangement on the table where we sit down. So when you sit down, literally, it's just like this. I don't even see the flowers. What this does, when it's such a shorter vase, container, vessel, <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna make a song about this. I'm gonna rap about it. Anyways, if you create such a short arrangement and you just cut those stems, you know, it's really pretty 100%. But when you sit down, you actually see the beauty of the flowers. What happens is that when it's this tall, all these greeneries, all the stems, they're in the way. They got to go. They're in the way. How, how are you going to be able to appreciate the beauty, right? If they're in the way. Come on now. You can do this again when you get home and you're just tired. Like, I don't want to do it. You can do that. So that's our first option, okay? If you don't have anything like this, you can opt for this one, which I think everybody will have in their home. And it's not really scary to DIY a lot of things. You can paint this white, you can paint this black, you can paint it however you want to paint it, but there's something about faces that have colors on them that actually just only shows the blooms itself. 
so they don't have to compete with the greenery with the stems. Because the greenery, they're pretty, like they're pretty bright greenery. So instead of appreciating the bloom, it's basically fighting with the greenery. So let's lift this up and transfer them here. It's not gonna look exactly the same because it's much shorter, but you can tell. Just anything. Okay, I'm just gonna put this away because this is actually distracting our view. Okay. Just anything that's shorter, but see how this already opens up all the blooms and you can see all of them. When you insert them, you insert them diagonally because what happens is that instead of standing upright, it actually faces whoever's looking at it. And when that happens, you see the, 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 the beauty of the flower better. It's not just sitting upright. Now, another trick if you're gonna use this for like an actual arrangement for an event, say for example, if you're having you know, some events, some dinner, get together, something like that. And if you wanna elevate the look of it, not just rhetorically, but literally, you can use boxes. Again, I got this from the craft store, from the dollar store actually. I wanna call it craft because I wanna have some class. You know, hey, I went to the craft store, but I went to the dollar store. I mean, you probably know that. But anyway, so what I usually do is you take this off, like you take the lid off, because if you want to use it again, you can. It even says happy birthday. Happy birthday. It matches. Why not? I love it. So what you can do is you can use different heights of this, and then you literally elevate it. And again, it depends, but what I suggest is get the bouquets first so that you know the color that you're working with, like the flowers that you got. So say for example, this pink. So I got this pink so that it matches and picks up the pinks on the flowers. Which, look at that. Already, just the elevation of it. So if there was another one beside it that's much lower, you already have a high low. Like, like you're a designer already. You just put a box in there and all of a sudden you're a designer. Come on now. And if you want something higher, there's another one here. This can go higher. So you can play with a lot of things. You can even group them like this. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. So you can place them side by side. So it's almost kind of like a runner. You have, I feel like it depends on your budget. But for now, those are the things that you can do. Super, super easy. I mean, what do you guys think? It's so hard because I love it. If you can see, look at that. So here's the thing. When you put it in a shorter base, I don't wanna cut it so short. When you put it in a shorter base and the stem is long, it opens up wide. So see if, see, it doesn't care. I just wanna make sure that you guys see like side by side, like comparison. So this sits very well. It doesn't really open up also because it's a little bit narrow. So the cut of the stems is just perfect for it. So it's just the same height. But if you put it in something shorter, I keep saying to reuse the box, but then it's like dripping wet. <laughs> Clean up, I'll <laughs> Hang on. Let me watch this. Okay, we are good. So see how this kind of spreads out and opens up. So if you want to make it a little bit tighter, you just give them a quick cut. Just make them shorter. I mean, you don't have to be an artist. You don't have to be like, I am such a designer. I mean, anybody can be a designer with the right tools and the right person to get. Okay, so see how that makes a big difference. We're just cutting it a little bit shorter. Just cut the stems and make sure that everyone sees the beauty of the blooms. Basically, this is the whole, how long has it been? Let me see the time. Like 35 minutes. The whole 35 minutes is basically what I'm getting at. Did you guys catch my drift? Anyways, so that's that for me. If you have any requests, if there is something that you want us to work on, some advice that you want us to give, I am here. So you don't have to be a master artist or you don't have to go to a master class to change the look of something. Little tweaks, little adjustments can make a big difference. Also, the most unassuming things, you can use them. 
This box. How much was this? Okay, this was actually pretty expensive. This is $3. But the thing is, I don't know if you guys can see or hear, but it's such a thick box. And I like that it's thick because it can hold the flower. So you're not worried about it sinking in the middle, like in the center, it's just like sinking. It won't because it's pretty thick. And also because I think that $3 is because of this. Like, like, this is pretty good for, for a box, for a, a gift box. So if you want to reuse this, you can. Come someone's birthday, you can reuse it. Come your event, you can use it. I mean, all the most unassuming things, you can use them. And we are here to inspire you to celebrate life and love. So if there's something that you want us to work on, something that you want us to do, something that you want us to try that you don't want to try, that you don't want to spend on because, I mean, who knows what's going to happen to it. Let us know in the comment section below what you want us to work on next. And until next time, bye lovelies. Bye.